Cholesterol is a molecule that's found within the cell membrane. It essentially maintains the fluidity but adds firmness and integrity to the cell membrane, such that it is able to help stabilise it. This means that animal cells do not need a cell wall to protect their cell membrane, and it also means that animal cells can change shape. To explore how cholesterol allows for this to happen within the cell membrane, let's first take a look at its structure. So on the left hand side you can see the structure of cholesterol, and on the right hand side I've drawn a simplified diagram of it. So it's made up of three parts. At the top you have the hydroxyl group, in the middle you have the steroid portion, and at the end you have the hydrocarbon chain. Now just like phospholipids, cholesterol is an amphipathic molecule. It means it has a polar and a nonpolar end. So by the hydroxyl group it's polar, and down by the hydrocarbon chain it's nonpolar. So therefore, when you place cholesterol in the cell membrane, the polar end orientates itself towards the cytoplasm or the extracellular fluid, while the nonpolar end orientates itself towards the middle. The polar end interacts with the phospholipid hydrophilic heads, while the nonpolar end interacts with the phospholipid tails, the hydrophobic portion of the phospholipid. By interacting with the phospholipid fatty acid tails, the cholesterol reduces the movement of those tails. It also prevents the phospholipid tails from coming into contact and solidifying or crystallizing. Therefore, the cholesterol stabilizes the cell membrane and it is able to moderate the membrane fluidity over a range of physiological temperatures. It also reduces the permeability to some solutes, for example, neutral solutes, hydrogen ions and sodium ions.